sometimes you need to pace yourself. I have a lot of goals and a lot of ambitions, a lot of things that I want to do. There are probably more ideas in my head than I can actually achieve and accomplish in my lifetime. And that's okay. Ideas come to me all the time. Business ideas come to me. Uh, Community service ideas come to me. Just passion projects, fun things. I just, my mind is honestly running at all points in time. Like I'm always looking for a piece of paper or my phone or my laptop or, or something to jot down an idea. And there's never an endless supply. But, and I know, I know I won't be able to do them all, but even for the ones that I really want to do, and I have some, I have some good ideas and I've even shelved some really good ideas. Like, I think I would be really good at like selling my ideas to other people who have the capacity to implement them because I just don't have the capacity to implement everything, but I have some really good ideas. But anyways, pace yourself. The reason I'm saying that is because sometimes I feel a bit frustrated, like, oh, Natalie, you should be doing this. And oh, Natalie, you could do this and you could do that. But the reality is I'm already doing a lot. My plate is full. And it's full intentionally. Like, I'm very happy with what's on my plate. And it gives me a lot of joy and a lot of fulfillment. And I really feel like, you know, the things that I'm doing are aligned with the vision I have for my life. And for where I'm going in my life. So that's great. There are other things I think I could add on. But I don't have the capacity right now. And I have to be, I have to recognize that. I have a two-year-old who's very active. And he needs a lot of my time and attention right now. And, you know, I have to, I have to keep that in mind. And I'm also encouraged because like sometimes I watch others and, you know, I'm not one to say put off your dreams for 20 years, 30 years. I don't believe in that. I think you have to start now with something. But then you pace yourself and you can add more and more on as your capacity changes, right? So I know that Later on in life, I might have more time, but at the same time, I'm doing things now. I'm doing my podcast now. I find this very fulfilling. I'm doing my wellness workshops. I'm doing public speaking. So these are all things that I have on my plate right now that are still aligned with where I'm going, but there are so many other ideas I want to do along the way, but they'll come. So I'm going to pace myself. I got this, you know, my cousin, I was talking to her and she was just saying like, she's not in a rush. And I remember that's a quote I heard from someone else. And it was actually in a list of affirmations that I've realized I haven't said for a bit. So I definitely need to get back into that. But her her quote was, I'm not in a rush. Success meets me where I'm at. And I think it's just a great quote to live by. And and I'm not pursuing those things for success. I'm I'm those ideas that I have. It's not about success for me. It's just about it's about impact and being purpose driven and purpose aligned. Um, but I can pace myself because I'm already making a difference. I'm already making an impact and I'm already walking in my purpose right now. So that's my advice to you. Pace yourself, write down, just write down the goals, the dreams, the ambitions you have, write them down. Ask yourself, what can you do now? Because I think you should do one thing. What's one thing, even if it's a small thing that can have you activating and walking in your purpose and feeling fulfilled and feeling good, and feeling content, and happy now, and joyful, and then what can you add on later, right? So give yourself a roadmap. All right, until next time, continue to serve yourself, your loved ones, and your communities from a full cup.